Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News, Shinrin Yoku, and Yurt Life, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Sunday, January 14th, around 6 15 p.m. 2024. Iceland has erupted. Two fissures opened up just north of Grindavik and one actually in the town of Grindavik. We do have live stream of both of that. Several homes have been destroyed, but it looks as if activity is quieting down slightly and mostly focused on a single vent here and now a lava flow through the town headed towards the ocean. Keep calm. It's boom time. We've got bitterly cold temperatures and heavy snow bringing dangerous conditions to around the U.S., especially in the center of the U.S. Iowa is very hard hit. And winter storm update, south towns are getting battered by lake effect snow. The lake effect ban has set up over the northern portion of western New York, and they're getting buried. And several developing storms, including winter storm Heather, could end the northeast snow drought for Philadelphia and New York. And the new model coming out, well, we're going to get to it in a moment, is showing quite a bit of snow for Philadelphia and New York. As hundreds of flights are canceled and delays continue at Denver International Airport in the weekend freeze. And here was the power outages just as earlier today when we were setting up this show. It looks like... Almost 200, 300,000 without power. And let's refresh it. It could be worse. No, good news, it's recovered. Just about 200,000 without power. Hardest hit is Oregon. 132,000 currently without power there. As multiple Oregon highways in southern Oregon close due to extreme weather conditions. And in northern Illinois, there's reports of mysterious booms which are likely frost quakes as temperatures plunge. And Utah Avalanche Center warns terrain is extreme and extraordinarily dangerous. It doesn't get any worse than that. Here's the forecast. We've got heavy snow across the Rockies into the Great Lakes with a potential winter storm in the Mid-South. Heavy snow and strong winds are expected across portions of the Great Basin into the Central Rockies through Sunday. Meanwhile, Heavy lake effect snow will persist downwind of the Great Lakes into Monday as a result of very cold air. By late Sunday, areas across the mid and deep south could see wintry precipitation developing, making travel difficult across these areas through early next week. Take a look at the winter storms and warnings and the wind chill warnings for most of the central and north central U.S. It is cold out there, frigid. Let's take a look at that plume that's going to be dipping down here over the next few days. So tonight and into tomorrow morning, it's going to be very cold in Iowa. Take a look at that as well as Montana. Minus 22 and only warming up. Minus 23 there. Only warming up in Iowa to minus 2 tomorrow. That could be the warmest temperature for the state. Uh, and this plume is going to continue to sit there for a few days and move just slightly east, albeit easing uh, through the rest of the week. Let's take a look at the new snowfall models. And there is that first storm that's going to move up the East Coast and bring some heavy snow to Tennessee and Virginia, as well as Philadelphia should see an inch or two, as well as New York. And another system right on the tail, Thursday and Friday, January 19th, could bring some heavy totals to New Jer South Jersey, Philadelphia, and the suburbs. Take a look at that. And while... Massive totals for Washington State and some much needed precipitation here again for the Sierras and the High Rockies. Good news. A Bay Area fault line is longer and more powerful than previously thought. That's bad news. Mapping research conducted by the USGS recently revealed that a West Napa fault line, which was responsible for the six magnitude South Napa quake of 2014, is miles longer and significantly stronger than originally thought to be. Bad news for wine country. Seismic update. No quakes of note quite quiet across the U.S. More frack quakes coming from Oklahoma, and there is some concern there. A quake on the mid-ocean ridge here at the triple junction. But overall, quite quiet, except on the Reykjanes Peninsula, where earlier today, a flurry of seismic activity preceded another eruption in Grindavik. Here is the tremor. Eruption on the Reykjanes Peninsula is continuing now. Lava flow cut the main road to Grindavik, 
and the first houses have already been destroyed. The good news is that everyone has been evacuated. Here is a house right here in the distance. There is an actual cinder cone vent here in the town of Grindavik, unfortunately, with an accompanying lava flow that has destroyed several houses. We won't know much until tomorrow when the geologists update us on what's going on there. Now, the good news is that the lava barriers are working and they're keeping most of the lava out of the town. The town is over here and this lava is flowing down and along the lava barrier, which is good news. So they are doing everything to save the town of Grindavik, which is good news and more updates to come in the morning. Worldwide, Ambrin Volcano, some explosive activity earlier today. The alert status was raised to three. Space weather news, January 14th. The sun is quiet. Just a flurry of activity maybe 12 hours ago. Nothing much and nothing significant. All is quiet on the solar max sun as it dips down into solar minimum. Now, a bizarre galaxy was discovered with seemingly no stars whatsoever. Scientists are baffled. Called J0613 plus 52, this massive blob of something 270 million light years away appears to have no stars whatsoever. Well, at least none that we can see. It's just a haze made of the kind of gas found between normal stars and normal galaxies. And maybe, well, just maybe we have, we don't know nothing. Here's another interesting question, leaving astrophysicists baffled. The Big Ring, a huge celestial structure, is challenging our understanding of the cosmos. This ring that was discovered two years ago called the Giant Arc. Oh, first let's talk about the Giant Arc. Two years ago, researchers found a crescent of galaxies that span 3.3 billion light years located 9.2 billion light years away. Hey, hey, it's not gravity, folks. Trust me. Did you ever wonder which planet is closest to Earth? Well, there's more than one right answer. It all depends on the orbit. And this fantastic jiffy, which we're about to look at, will explain it all. So sometimes it's Venus, sometimes it's Mercury. It all depends on the rotation, but it's mostly Venus in red. It's an interesting tidbit, in case you were wondering. And NASA and Lockheed Martin unveil the X-59 supersonic jet. The aircraft will test new technologies to reduce the sonic boom to a dull thud and gather data to support eventual supersonic flights over land. And it looks awesome. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hope you got something out of the video. Please share it as we are shadow banned and we need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. Watch all of our podcasts in one place, commercial free. And be safe. We love you. Hit that thumbs up. It helps with the Al Gore rhythm. Mm -hmm.